hello and welcome to my youtube channel php to do so in this video we are going to have a look on the second type of php arrays in the previous video we have talked about that what is the role of index array in php and how does the index array works so in this video we are going to see and we are going to practice that what is the role of associative array and how the associative word array works in php so let's get started and before starting the video i request you guys to please subscribe my youtube channel and do press the bell icon if you are new on my youtube channel so you never miss any kind of update from my youtube channel so let's get started so the first thing is we have to start our xamp i have started the xamp and the sql and okay apache and i will my sql okay good to go so the second thing is that we have to open our last thing practice patient this was the indexed array we have used so we have to open it in our visual studio code editor 2 so by clicking on the file and by clicking on the open folder we are locating it to the desktop uh, to the c drive actually where the things are being located so in c we have to go to zam after zam we have to go to ht docs and php practice and select the folder so now it's been opened so now uh, this was the indexed array and we have practiced this one in the previous video so what really uh, associative array is and how does it work in this video we will see this thing so as you know that index array is targeted by the index if I have an array of fruits as I have designed in the last video and I am just revising the stuff old stuff so, so if if I have this and in this one uh, we have written apple okay this is apple this is mango banana orange and peach okay so what if i want to extract the value of only banana so i have to target its index which is 2 as you know that the index started from 0 1 2 3 and 4 so i have to target its index so what if we got a number of data and we are not able to target the index every time we 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 can't memorize the index number every time so in that case what can we do and what will help us from uh, from deriving that situation and from concluding the new result from that situation and for and for normalization of the whole process what should we do so don't you worry we will use the associative arrays concept for that one associative array explored the concept that associative array the word associative is derived with the thing that it is associated okay so if it is associative array so i think that it should be associated so it contains of two things one is key and the other is value you can also derive that key is the index in this case the example mentioned above this will refer as key and this is the value inside and this is key so let's do the thing practically and let's see how the thing works so 
I will close it. Uh, so I am going to create a new array yeah. PHP. So I will create an array uh, of students. So the syntax is same as the indexed array. So, so student array student is equal to array. We have it's an array. And now what should be the key? What should be the name of index? I will write name. Okay, then I will this name should be John. Okay. And the next thing. What is the next index? Age. And age should be twenty. Okay and now what should be country so we have written country here and country should be USA and in the next line I will echo dollar student and I will I want to get the name okay so let's see how the thing works so yes the name is John I have targets uh, targeted its index the index name was name and the name is John what if I want to extract the age then I will only change the age to this one 20 so you have noticed one thing that I didn't put any quotations around this one why the answer is simple as it is not integer or float as it is not a numeric value I haven't put uh, a single code or double code around it so that's all from today's video hope you guys enjoy the video and if you like the video then do share it and please subscribe my youtube channel so i can gr so i can bring a lot of amazing stuff for you guys regarding php S and comment your thought and keep practicing the php thank you